It's hard to understand how somebody could just get to a point where they don't want to live anymore. Been hit. They want us to come looking for them. You ready to talk? We ready. But I ain't promising all we're going to do is talk. What I'm about to tell you is going to be the craziest thing that you ever heard. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, Season 2, Episode 3. This is the What to Expect video for Episode 3, and it is based off the trailer that they put out. Now, the title of the episode is called Sleeping Dogs, and the description of the episode reads, A surprise encounter with Howard leaves Canaan rattled. Rock tries to expand into new territory, but when an associate in Valuables go missing, she is reunited with an old adversary. Lou continues to butt heads with Crown. So those are the key elements of this next upcoming episode. Episode 2 was crazy, man. Your boy Scrappy got dropped off. Your girl Rock once again shows us just how cold she can be and how dangerous she is, man. This girl, she don't give a damn. And it seems like no one is going to get in her way and she's willing to do whatever it takes to get to the top. And she's not going to allow anybody to stop her. I want to see what's going to happen once the Italians get brought into the mix. And how Rock is going to adjust and make things happen. You know, dealing with them because they dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You think Unique is dangerous and Dean is dangerous. Those Italians, they don't play at all. And she's going to have to move differently. Not just her. Everybody else is going to have to move different. Because if they don't, they're going to end up missing. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be you know, some trouble for them, in my opinion. Now, make sure you check out the episode two recap that I dropped last night. Now it is time to get ready for episode three. I can't wait to see it. I want to see the conversation that Detective Howard and Kanan are going to have. He told her in the last episode that Kanan is about to find out the truth or whatever. So it's time to see it. We need to see this. And I'm glad that they're not going to, you know, drag it out. I want to see how Kanan is going to deal with knowing all the facts about Detective Howard. And also your boy Unique, and Rock will be having a conversation in this episode based off this trailer. I can already tell you Nick probably has something to do with that bodega getting hit and that money being missing, right? So that lets me know something's going to happen. And I want to know the details of the conversation. Will you, Nick, try to get something out of Rock? We know the description states that the associate and valuables go missing. So this associate, in my opinion, just may be your girl, um, Juliana, you guys let me know what y'all think about that. Now, I'm going to try my best to focus on all the key points in this trailer. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. Now, what can we expect in episode three titled Sleeping Dogs? And based off this trailer, we're going to get the aftermath of your boy Scrappy getting popped by Rock. This girl is straight up cold with it. And Rock is probably just thinking of a way to explain all of this to Kanan. We can already tell based on the conversation we see between the two. And it's just crazy because Rock is going to tell this kid that Scrappy offed himself, right? Scrappy is a soldier. Scrappy ain't about to off himself at all. But Rock is going to come up with this lie, in my opinion, about what really happened to Scrappy. But we know that's not the truth. And to me, it just may feel similar to what happened to D-Wiz. Because your boy came and thought something happened to D-Wiz. Somebody else took him out. But in reality, we know Rock was the one that called the shot. And Lulu ended up taking you know, that hit on him. But to find out the truth later on, that really hurt Kanan. You can see in his face right here, he's hurt. I mean, Scrappy was his boy. They didn't like each other at first, but as the season continued to air out last year, we saw that Kanan and Scrappy, they was cool. You know what I'm saying? He learned a lot from him, and I expected them to become closer this season. But unfortunately, that ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? That's not happening at all. But once Kanan does find out the truth, you already know he's going to be very, very upset with his mom. And just like what happens with D-Wiz, Rock's going to explain why she did what she did to protect him, to protect everybody, right? So, we're going to see. Now, we can expect Kanan and Famous to go out there and get this money, but not like they did in last week's episode. Kanan has decided they're going to put product in these tapes. That way, they can flip the money and make a good profit. But you guys let me know, do y'all think this idea is going to backfire? We know in Season 1, Kanan had a lot of ideas, and a lot of those ideas did not work will this be you know another one of those ideas that's going to backfire hopefully not hopefully they can go out there and make some profit and stay out of trouble but eventually i believe the boys are going to hem them up once again um i do believe in one of the trailers we see kanan and, and uh, famous running from the police so i think it's just a matter of time before something 
happens. Now, we can expect the bodega to get hit. We talked about this um, in the recap for episode two because we know Unique's baby's mom. She was up in there. She saw Rock in there. And we know that money is up in there. But that money is gone. So Rock is pissed off. She wants to know where in the hell is her, you know, valuables at, right? On top of that, I told you the description states that an associate goes missing as well as valuables. I'm thinking it's Juliana and I'm expecting Unique to know exactly what happened. And Rock, she's going to find out what happened. And I'm thinking Unique is going to have some demands on what he wants and how he wants things to go. But he's going to be in the rude awakening because Rock, she ain't about to bow down. Y'all saw what Rock is able to do. And she showed us in season one. Hell, she's showing us in season two. Marvin is like, damn, this is getting real, real serious. Well, you want to be Rock's number two. You're going to have to put in that work and you're going to have to be ready for what's to come. And this is why Lulu is trying to step away because he knows everything is just going to get worse with this. You know what I'm saying? Being in the game, going to that top level, you know, creating enemies. Do you honestly believe Unique is just going to step off and not come back for revenge? Based off this trailer, I believe this is unique that Rock is going to go and have a conversation with. The description does state that Rock is going to be meeting up with the old adversary. And I believe that old adversary is unique. That man wants revenge. You can see the drawings on his feet. Who else rocking those J's like unique? I definitely believe that is unique. Rock is talking about, I am about to just be talking to you. She got the strap. She's ready. She's ready to catch another body if she got to. But I'm expecting unique to have something up his sleeves. You guys let me know, do y'all believe Rock is going to have a conversation with Unique? And, you know, was he the person that has something to do with the whole bodega, the valuables missing? And, of course, your girl Juliana is possibly missing as well. We're going to find out in the next episode. Now, also in the trailer, we can expect your boy Detective Howard to be clapping some cheeks, right? He got him a new little love interest, and it seems like Detective Burke is going to be watching his every move. We talked about this in the past. We know Detective Burke. She's not going to allow this just to, you know, bypass. She's going to study Detective Howard. She's going to watch everything that he does. Usually when people like this are so thirsty for the truth and power, we know what happens to them. They end up getting dropped off. So Detective Burke, even though she's trying to get that truth, she better be real, real careful because if she's not, we already know what time it is. It's probably not going to end well for her. I think it ain't going to end well for her anyway, just with her messing around with Jukebox. I don't see that ending well. Now, this young lady that we see walking out Detective Howard's spot, I believe her name is Andrea. We should get more information about her character in this episode, but I know in the description it does state that she's doing certain things, you know, to make a better life for her son, and she's seen a lot. So, I want to know what the hell is going to go down with her character and her relationship with Detective Howard, but we do know Detective Burke will be watching his every move and she's going to be snooping around and as i told y'all earlier she will be talking about this that's the last thing that she needs to be doing she don't need to be going to anybody um talking about what she knows about detective howard because y'all know secrets they get around people find out everything and i would not be surprised if you know what detective burke is out there doing backfires and she also needs to watch her back because nicole's mom ain't playing nicole's mom she looking for blood she ain't playing around she wanted her fired I would not be surprised if Nicole's mom, you know, does come back and do something that's going to, you know, make things worse for Detective Burke. You guys let me know what y'all think about that. Now, also in the trailer, we see Detective Howard. He's finally going to go. He's going to have that conversation with Kanan. I hope nothing happens. You know what I'm saying? I hope nothing happens. And, and you know, I'm talking about as far as messing up this conversation. Um, Kanan is looking shook like, damn, he's here. Now, Rock has already told him. Detective Howard is going to try to come and talk to him. Just be ready. He's going to be on that mess or whatever. No, don't take him serious. But that's not going to be the case because Detective Howard, in my opinion, is going to tell Kanan the truth. This is why I said, I hope no one interrupts this scene. Kanan needs to know exactly where Rock has been up to and, you know, all the lies that she's been telling. She's talking about how she's protecting him and all this stuff. But in reality, yes, she is kind of, but... We know Rock is trying to protect that lie. She does not want the truth to come out. She does not want people knowing she slept with a cop because everybody's going to think she's a snitch. Her reputation is pretty much going to be ruined, right? So she does not want that to happen. But we know this truth eventually is going to get out there. I want to know how Kanan is going to take this. It states that this is going to rattle him or whatever. Detective Howard is telling him, I'm about to tell you, you know, probably the craziest thing you ever heard. Kanan going to trip out, man. He gonna trip out like, really? Moms really did this? And, you know, 
I just want to see his interaction with Rock after he learns the full story. But you guys let me know. How do y'all see this all playing out? I believe Detective Howard will continue to be a threat. He's not playing around this season. He's already warned Rock. This time around, he ain't playing. He's going to go to Kanan and have conversations with him. I mean, knowing Kanan, he will be kind of resistant at first. But I think eventually he will, you know, get a little bit more comfortable with Detective Howard. We know he wants to protect his mom at all costs, but it seems like his mom has her own agenda and she'd be damned if anybody messes up her game plan. Now, also in the description, it does state that Lulu will continue to butt heads with Crown. We already know it's going to be some issues. I know in the official trailer, we see Lulu putting hands on Crown or whatever, and that's going to, you know, cause some tension, especially at the whole studio. They're trying to do business with Cartier Duns and Zisa. I got a feeling that whole storyline is going to blow up. It ain't going to go the way Lulu was planning it to go. And he's going to realize that Crown may be more of an issue than he probably thought, as well as Cartier Duns. And we do know that Cartier Duns will be doing some business with Rock. It is some scenes with them together. I can't wait to see that and, you know, get a little bit more intel on his character and what he really wants to do. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. We're going to continue to talk about Power Book 3 Raising Kanan Season 2 this week. So stay tuned for the videos. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dart. I'm out. Peace.